Hi guys, it is a gray gloomy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on, it is now Saturday, August 21st, 2021, and it looks like we have the second hurricane barreling towards New York in a week. <clears throat> yes. I am so happy I am a snowbird who moved to upstate New York to escape climate change disasters. Two hurricanes in a week. We will see uh, if this one finally gets bugs in a jar floating down the river. But uh, before we do go floating down the river, <clears throat> Do what I do every day, and that's sit here and chronicle the collapse of global industrial civilization. <coughs> and we're going to uh, check out common dreams, what they have to say about the collapse of a planet. <coughs> I haven't gone over to those, check in with those little lefties over at Common Dreams. But I did get a chuckle out of this this morning. So yesterday, you know, I'm going over my uh, Manga Bay uh, roundup, and I get to this article from Manga Bay talking about how deforestation has gone down, actually dropped in the last 12 months. And if you recall, uh, I was saying, you know what button I would be pushing. I did not believe for one second that deforestation. So this is Manga Bay's reporting. <clears throat> deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon declined slightly over the past 12 months, but still reached the second highest level since 2008. This is according to data from the Brazilian National Space Research Institute with their satellites. Uh, their satellites registered <clears throat> 1,498 square kilometers, otherwise known as 578 square miles, bringing the 12-month total to 8,591 square kilometers, 6.8% below the total this time last year. <clears throat> All right, then a few hours later, we get this one from Common Dreams. <clears throat> out of control, out of control, Brazilian Amazon deforestation hits highest level in a decade. Yeah, so this is statistics from Amazon, which I think Amazon is a Brazilian uh, research institute. I don't know if it's funded by the government of Brazil. If it used to be, I'm sure it's had its funding gutted. Uh, <clears throat> so Amazon reported Thursday <coughs> that from August 2020 to July 21st, 10,476 square kilometers of Amazon rainforest were, were destroyed, a 57% increase over the previous 12-month period, and in July alone, 2,095 square kilometers were deforested 80% more than in the same month in 2020. There you go. We have a 20, it's over 20% conflict between the environmental agency versus the Brazilian government space agency. Anybody who believes, uh, in, I, I had to send this to Rhett Butler, and I'm waiting for his response back. Like, like, what's going on, dude? Uh, you know, anybody believing for one second that Amazon deforestation went down 6.8 percent in the last 12 months? Come on, Rhett. You know what you need to do. You need to pull it, buddy. 
You need to yank it out. Uh, Fifty-seven percent increase over last year. Uh, but anyway, uh, as long as I was over there at uh, Common Dreams, well, let's let's see. Is there any? Let's just uh, read a little bit more from this story. Encouraged by President Jair Bozo Nero, deforestation in Brazil's Amazon rainforest surged to its highest annual level in a decade over the past year, with researchers warning that this accelerated destruction of the critical carbon sink, which is now a carbon source, is imperiling the ability to keep planetary heating below the Paris Climate Agreement's 1.5C target. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> this is Amazon researcher Carlos Souza. Quote, deforestation is still out of control. Brazil is going against the global climate agenda that is seeking to urgently reduce greenhouse gas emissions. At this rate, we will not be able to keep global warming below one and a half C. Yes, do you think so? Um, and then, of course, they, the balance of the article is blasting uh, Hyder Bozo Nero. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, the study's results, quote, strongly indicate that current estimates of precipitation effects of land cover changes in the Amazon are underestimated, affecting not just the Amazon basin itself, but also the surrounding basins such as the La Plata and Orinoco. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, the impact of Amazon deforestation on rainfall amounts can be up to four times greater than previously estimated by scientists. Research concludes that vegetation loss could result in a 55% to 70% reduction in annual precipitation. All right, so this next one I'm actually going to come back to. Uh, I think I'm going to save this one uh, for tomorrow. <clears throat> a viable human future depends on living with less. We cannot eat money, and there are no winners on a dead earth. All right. Uh, okay, we will uh, get to this story tomorrow. I'm going to read this whole thing tomorrow by some, I think he's an economist named David Corton. But we will get back to that story what else do we have? Uh, okay. How about... Um, nearly half the world's children at extremely high risk for facing effects of climate crisis report finds. Do you think so? <clears throat> Virtually no child's life will be unaffected by the climate emergency, said the director of UNICEF. Um, a new global report revealed the scale of risks posed by the climate emergency for the world's children. Uh, the United Nations Agency for Children's Rights, UNICEF, introduced the first ever Children's Climate Risk Index, which shows that nearly half 
of the world's children are now at, quote, extremely high risk for being faced with dangerous effects of the planetary crisis. The climate crisis is a child rights crisis, said UNICEF. About one billion children now live in dozens of developing countries that are facing at least three to four climate impacts, including drought, food shortages, extreme heat, and disease. The report uh, said, quote, for the first time, we have a complete picture of where and how children are vulnerable to climate change, and that picture is almost unimaginably dire, said Henrietta Four, executive director of UNICEF. Uh, take a wild guess. The highest risk countries, some of the highest risk countries include India, Nigeria, and the Central African Republic. Yes, do you think so? Uh, while nearly half of the world's children are at extreme risk for experiencing multiple effects of the climate crisis firsthand, nearly every child on planet Earth was found to be at risk for at least one impact, including heat waves and air pollution. Quote, virtually no child's life will be unaffected for said. Uh, 820 million children, more than one third, are at risk for experiencing extreme heat waves like the deadly ones that have affected the U.S. Pacific, Northwest, Canada, and Western Europe. One in seven children and at least one little dog are at risk for facing flooding rivers and two billion children are currently highly exposed to air pollution. All right, what's next on uh, the Rolodex of Collapse? Uh, here's, a, here's a weird one. Uh, Notice this in the mainstream media too. Rainfall observed at peak of Greenland ice sheet for first time on record. Uh, this past weekend, researchers at the National Science Foundation's summit station observed rainfall at the peak of Greenland's rapidly melting ice sheet for the first time ever on record, an event driven by warming temperatures. Uh, I love this. I guess we need to rename the National Snow and Ice Data Center. I guess it needs to be renamed the National Rain, Snow, and Melting Ice Data Center. <clears throat> Said in a press release, quote, this was the third time in less than a decade and the latest date in the year on record that the National Science Foundation Summit Station had above freezing temperatures and wet snow. There is, but there is no previous report of rainfall at this location at 3,216 meters in elevation. That's about 10,000 feet. So you go to Greenland and then you climb 10,000 feet to the highest mountain in Greenland <clears throat> and you get rained on. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, 
rain fell for several hours. The anomalous rainfall at the ice sheet's peak marked the start of a three-day period during which above freezing temperatures and rainfall were widespread to the south and west of Greenland. Yep, do you think so? <clears throat> the warmer than usual temperatures caused significant melting of the ice sheet with ice melt extent peaking at 337,000 square miles one day on August 14th, 337,000 square miles of, uh, of ice melting off of uh, Greenland. Oops, I might have some business. Uh, the <clears throat> I put a little video up about the uh, bugs in a jar farm stand is open for business. I do not believe it. Probably have someone coming to look for corn, but I have to go make a million dollars. So we'll have to get back to the collapse of civilization tomorrow. Bye, guys. All right, little dog. We have money to be made in the collapse. Wish me luck.